Chris McCosh, Give Emerging Civil War, and I am in Citronelle, Alabama, about 30 some miles north of Mobile. It took me about 45 minutes today uh, in some afternoon thunderstorms to get here. And this is where, on May 4th, 1865, Richard Taylor surrendered to Edward Canby, bringing to an end the war here in the Eastern Theater. Canby and uh, Taylor had been squaring off ever since uh, actions around Mobile. Uh, the assault at Fort Blakely on the 9th of April led to the capitulation of Mobile on the 12th of April. But the two armies still kind of eyed each other. Uh, Canby marching up into Alabama's interior. Taylor trying to decide what to do when word finally reached them of Lee's surrendered at Appomattox Courthouse. Taylor still had a viable fighting force, and as he's trying to decide what to do with it, um, really thinks that he's going to kind of try to continue things on, but then word arrives of Joe Johnston's surrender at Bennett Place, and that really kind of takes the wind out of uh, Taylor and his men. Johnston uh, suggests that uh, Taylor and Canby uh, try to negotiate surrender terms similar to those that Johnston and Sherman had negotiated. So on April 29th, Taylor and Canby get together. They meet in a little town called Kushla, just north of Mobile. It's right along the rail line. They find a home, the belongings of the McGee family, that they can take advantage of and get together in the parlor, and they start discussions about a truce. Um, Canby's got about 32,000 men at his disposal. He arrives in full dress uniform, sort of reflecting the, the good fortune of the Union Army, where Taylor kind of comes in on a hand cart on the rail line, looking a little bedraggled, again, reflecting the Confederate, uh, as, as Taylor himself notes. Uh, he's got a force somewhere between nine and 12,000 guys that he's really trying to pull together. And the two men get together and uh, talk about a truce. Then Taylor heads back to his headquarters in Meridian, Mississippi, and Canby sends word back to Washington, where the uh, truce arrangement is actually denied. And so Canby then has to send word on the 29th to Taylor that the negotiation terms have been rejected. And Taylor and Canby have 48 hours to resolve their differences or Canby's ordered to resume the offensive. So the two meet here in Citronelle because it's along the railway that allows uh, uh, Taylor to come south and allows Canby to head north from Mobile and they meet here. And uh, then on the 4th of May, come up with the final surrender terms. Taylor and Canby met underneath an oak tree. Uh, no oak trees today, but there's a beautiful magnolia tree here above me. It looks gorgeous. Taylor's actually satisfied that, uh, you know, because they're rather generous terms, similar to what Grant offered Lee. Uh, officers are allowed to hold their firearm, men are allowed to retain their horses, and uh, Taylor feels that the honor of the Southern men has been satisfied. Uh, Cammy's actually impressed at uh, how helpful Taylor is in negotiating the truce, and Taylor uh, very, uh, very pleased at Cammy's professionalism. Uh, at one point, uh, there had been some suggestion that maybe Taylor should try to prolong this through a guerrilla war, but he thought that was foolish. Uh, quickly dismissed that idea, said that his men would be hunted down like beasts and it would be fruitless to uh, continue their resistance. Things are still going to continue out west. We got a surrender in Galveston. We got a surrender in Oklahoma still coming up. Uh, but Taylor, who is the fighting son of Zachary Taylor, discovers that uh, the fight is out of him. So kind of a neat place to be. Um, not much here. There's a Boy Scout camp behind me. Uh, some signage here as well as across the way. An old state, uh, state historical marker that talks about the war between the states coming to an end. Um, and I never really thought I'd make it here, to be honest. So it's kind of neat to be in this spot, dodging some thunder and lightning and some heavy rain. I'm Chris Mikowski here in Citadel, Alabama. We'll see you online and on the battlefield.